morning guys uh still a bit rainy here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be a big brave girl and i'm going to take a walk during the rain so everyone gets to see how beautiful um guys Fatched hamlet really is it's uh, nearly eight o'clock in the morning so let's go and have a look let's go and have a little adventure okay guys like i explained last night um it's very much like a little village so let's have a look in the daytime and let's see this place in all its glory. So these are all the rooms, as you can see in front of me. So all of your rooms are all around here and it goes right the way back to over there. Okay, so let's take a walk. I showed everybody this just before Christmas when it was all lit up. At, um, obviously at night time it's absolutely stunning. But I just couldn't get any footage last night. Um, the rain was just too powerful. It's not too bad this morning, actually. I think it's just clearing up. So there's a gift shop open there. Taking you back to the olden days. Joe's not with me, he's sound asleep. <laughs> you can see how very beautiful it is. It's well kept. Um, there's no litter anywhere or anything like that you know it's absolutely beautiful this is the gardens that i showed you last night there we go and we've got a boat on the canal we've got a few boats on the canal oh this is good Oh, fantastic, we've got lots of barges. Oh, wow, everywhere. I've never seen it so busy. So this is the canal. We'll take a quick walk down. So this is a beautiful canal. And you can see there's lots of different barges here. this little sidewalk you're able to walk down uh, we've brought the dogs up here um, that's another thing about this place you don't have to stay um, you can just come in and you can use a restaurant as long as you book um, and you can also use the um, O'Neill's bar for a drink maybe beside the canal So even if you just pass in, you can pop in and you can use all the facilities. Um, if you want to book a room, you can either phone up or you can book it online. I would suggest booking online. You know what you're getting. <clears throat> oh, it's cleared up now. It's cleared up really, really nice. So this is just going around the back of Guy's Court. As you can see, there's more rooms there. So I'm not going to go too far down because I want to take you further up. I want to take you to where all the restaurants and everything are. So just to give you an idea, this is all the beautiful barges, which is really nice to see. And if you like a nice stroll, down the canal is a really nice stroll, especially on a nice day. Like I say, the weather's cleared up a bit for me today, finally. So I can actually see it in all its glory without getting drenched. Um, a lot of people tend to come up here in the summer and they spend the summer days up at Guy's Court uh, sitting by the canal and then obviously taking in um, all of the sights with the canal boats, the barges um, I believe that it's also a stop off point for barges I don't think it's any charge to, to park up here and you can hire uh, barges to go down um, this canal Just 
see the staff are hard at work. So this is us just taking you around the front now. Some beautiful barges here. It really is. What's that one? Woody's dream. <laughs> Woody's dream. So this is just around the front now, as you can see. Uh, this is O'Nell's Tavern. So yeah guys, that's my walk around and the beautiful sights of the canal. Look how peaceful it is. So I'm going to pop off and I'm going to see if I can organise something special for Joe's birthday as a little surprise. Because everybody knows that Joe's been absolutely fantastic with me through all my surgeries and everything that I've had to go through. So I'm going to see if I can organise a little surprise for him for his birthday. So take care guys, see you soon. Just before I go and organise this surprise, I've just found another bit. Let's go and have a look. Let's go check in. So we'll go up these steps. And it says, uh, enjoy your meals and drinks up on the roof. So it's nice and dry, so we can get up on the roof. Oh, oh I'm still not my fittest yet. There we go, guys. Now, this would be absolutely lovely in the summer. Oh, a little flower display saying, guys. That's lovely. So they've got a beautiful little rooftop terrace and what's this over here? Is this another rooftop terrace? Let's see. Can I get down here? Oh, here we go. Here's another. Oh, I like this exploring. So this is another rooftop terrace, guys, that I've just found. I don't think I can get in there because I've got this big gate of some sort that's made out of leaves. I don't know if you can see that. And I haven't got the energy to lift it, so I'm not going to try. I'm still not allowed to do any lifting yet. So there we go. This is another little rooftop terrace. So remember if you come to Guy's Court and it's chock-a-block like it normally is in the summer, we've got plenty of seating areas. You just have to search for them. Unlock this gate. Leave everything the way it was so I don't get in any trouble. Hopefully the weather picks up a bit today. We might get a little bit of sun, you never know. And uh, I can explore this in the <clears throat> in the beautiful weather that we get in England. <laughs> Not. No. So guys, this is Guy's Court. Let's see if I can get some filming done inside. So what I'll do is I'll pop off for now and uh, I'll come back to you guys. Again, this beautiful open fire is an absolutely lovely welcome as soon as you walk into the reception area. Obviously, there's not a lot of people around now, so it's nice. I can actually do a bit, bit of filming. So this is us heading into the Italian where we came last night 
and this is the stunning bar area and obviously you've got a seating area here I'm assuming that you could wait here for your table if it's not ready in time um, we will be doing breakfast this morning we're booked in for 10 a.m. This is another beautiful little sitting area. Take you around a little bit more. This is the sports bar area, which I believe is open till 1 a.m. There's a nice little open area, nice bar. And yeah, it looks really, really comfortable actually. So I believe that this is open till 1 a.m. and it can become into Maybe a little type of a, a nightclub-y kind of place. Um, obviously, them neon lights will be lit up at night time. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Or if you wanted to come in and watch the football um, or any sporting events, I believe that this is your big screen in here throughout the day. Now there's a reason that I've done this in first thing in the morning is because there's nobody around and uh, when anybody sees me with a camera they go Ooh, jump out of the way and yeah so it's just easier when there's nobody around it's just so much easier. So this is where we'll be eating today we'll be having some lunch in here today so we'll do a food review on um, the food in here and go through the menu and everything with you like we did with the Italian. So then obviously we've got the bar area, which is uh, O'Neill's Tavern. Um, I'm not sure if I can get in here. I'll find out. Let's see if I can find out. Okay, so this is O'Neill's Tavern. Uh, I've just been given permission to come in and film. So you've got all your Murphy's, Pecks, everything like that. Everything that anybody could want really, they supply it. We did notice in here last night, it was a very, very busy. I've got all your top lines of your gins, your spirits, top shelf. And it's very, very comfortable. Uh, the floors have just been cleaned, so I need to be very, very careful. Today's Landlord Bitter, ask twice. So they do a special, they do a special bitter as well. So... Lancaster Blonde. Hey, is that for me? Should be a Blackpool Blonde, that. Lancaster Red. They've got a lot of Cascales, haven't they? So, yes, yeah, so this is uh, just a look around. Hi, ladies, can I just get in there and film? Sorry? Can I just pop in here and film? The manager said it was okay. Thank you. So the lovely cleaners are cleaning up after last night. And uh, oh, there we go. We found an ice cream parlour. So this is an ice cream area. Wallings, which we like. So this is a nice little ice cream area. And there's your prices, guys. Oh, I might have to have an ice cream later. I love that, this little ice cream area in the pub. Ice cream in the pub. So, as you can see, this place just goes on and on. There's plenty of seats. Oh, and we're into another area. So there's lots and lots of seats, guys. So if you come to Guy's Court and you see that it's hustle and bustle, there is plenty of seating area. But I can imagine that it gets very, very, very busy. Especially in the summer. But I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful area to just sit and have some food, have a nice drink. Looking out at the canal boats, all the barges. Jolly Roger is in town today. Jolly Roger. So there you go.
We've had a really good look at Guy's Court with everybody being in the rooms or at breakfast. So it's time for me to go and get some breakfast. Let's catch you later, guys. Bye. Okay, so I've just been having a good chat with the management here and um, they do do special requests for birthdays and celebrations and things like that. And they can do it last minute. Um, I've just organised a little something for Joe um, for when he wakes up and finally gets out of bed and uh, goes down for his breakfast. So, yeah, so this is absolutely breathtaking, guys. Just, it's so peaceful. So, so peaceful. Okay, so there's a bowling green, a cricket field, so there's lots going on here and I do know that they uh, do a lot of different events, a lot of family days where they have bouncy castles and trampolines and um, like little bits of uh, like carnival things going on. So check out the website because they're always doing something here at Guy's, especially during the summer. And uh, yeah, this is me just going back to my room. But yeah, it's just so lovely and peaceful here, it really is. And the staff can't seem to do enough for you, so I may think of giving them that extra one star back. Um, sometimes you just can't get the staff to allocate uh, people's phone calls to arrange rooms. Obviously it might have been a bit of a miscommunication, but the room that we had, it was beautiful, it was clean. Um, it was just to get our heads down for the night. But everything else that guys had to offer was absolutely fantastic and we really, really enjoyed our stay. So we will 100% be back, but like I say, I will be booking online and not over the phone. So I'm going to go and get ready for breakfast and we'll take you with us.